Hi everyone, this is Vidur. I work in Juniper Networks and in this video, I will talk about dynamic packet capture, uh, but not how to enable it. That is enabled by default in the NIST dashboard. I will tell you how we can disable the feature if there is a need, okay? So let me take you to the NIST dashboard first. And this is my home org, as you've already seen this before in, other, in the other videos as well. What we're gonna do is, uh, there is a way now by which we can keep that dynamic packet capture feature disabled if needed. Uh, let me take you to a client uh, and talk more about it and show that to you how it works. Uh, I have a client with our Galaxy S10. I was doing some testing in the morning with this client. Uh, and let me take you to the client insights. Now, this is the page where we should be able to see all the client events. Now, by default, the automatic packet capture that we can see for all the bad events, we are able to collect that by default. Okay. Now, what we do is for any bad event that a client goes through in the MIST dashboard, we are able to monitor 150 different state changes, which are here. Some of them are here and automatically collect a capture and make it available for anyone who's trying to access the dashboard for it to download and troubleshoot the issue. This feature has helped us stand out in the market, you know, from our competitors and it has helped many, many customers save a lot of time and effort and money. However, if there is a need that you do not want this feature to be enabled, you want that automatic packet capture to not happen for any bad event, we can do that as well now. There is a possibility, there is a there is a checkbox we can, you know, we can untick and then the automatic packet capture will be disabled. So let's let's see what I did in the morning. I did some testing, as I said, with this particular client around eight or twelve, something around that time when when uh, I was trying to connect this client. And I see, let's let me zoom in so that it's clearly visible for all of you. Yeah, around eight or twelve, I see some failure happening. I entered the wrong password for this particular uh, SSID for this particular client, and I got the packet capture already stored here, right? This was when the feature was already enabled. This was the default setting. It was already enabled in the org. And I was able to see a lot of packet captures here with all the uh, necessary details whenever I entered the wrong password or any bad event that happened, right? Now what I did was I went back on the dashboard here. I went into the settings, settings in the org tab, okay? Now click on this. You see this setting here in the support access. Now this is an org wide setting, okay? If you if you if you uncheck this, the MIST system will not be able to capture packet automatically for you for diagnostics. This is checked by default, okay? That is why whenever you bring up a you know whenever in in a normal org any other org, this is enabled by default. So when I do it was it was checked by default. That's why I was able to see packet capture in the last screen that I showed you. Now I unchecked it. I was just trying to do some testing and see if it really works. And, and yes, I unchecked the feature. I clicked on save, save the settings here. And then I went back to my client. And a few minutes later, I went into the client insights again, similar process. A few minutes later, when I again entered the wrong password, okay, uh, that was around 8 or 17, or if I'm not wrong, yeah, around this time. 847, sorry, after 30, 30 odd minutes. It was again an auth failure, as you can see, auth failure, but there was no packet capture, okay? This requirement can come from any customer, any partner in any scenario. In case you run into this issue, if you if you run into any, any of such, such requirements, this is where you can go the org and the settings, and you can uncheck this in the settings in the org tab, and your feature will be disabled. That's that's where MIST will not be able to take automatic packet capture for you uh, and store it in the cloud. Now, nothing else is hampered. Everything else works absolutely as expected. It is just that we will stop taking the packet capture and things will go back to, uh, you know, as they were in the, as far as the client working is concerned. So nothing else changes. We just stop the automatic packet capture and everything else is as it is, right? So this is where you can come and edit it. I hope uh, this this is not very widely used to be honest, but uh, you know, on a recent call that I was on, I kind of uh, ran ran into this feature, and you know, uh, there was a there was an ask from one of our customers, and and that's when I explored this and kind of understood that yes, this is how we need to do that. So I thought of sharing it sharing this with everyone. 
uh, in case you have any questions, doubts, just drop in a comment, uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'll be more than happy to address that and uh, you know take care of those questions. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is something which I learned very recently, and I'm, I was you know not aware of this uh, this setting uh, initially. So thank you so much, guys, and I hope this was very helpful for all of you. Uh, yeah, again, reach out to me. Thank you so much.